Hey, hey, what's up? A new Foxtrot opened in Austin. Bless, it's like a taste of Dallas in Austin, even though it's originally from Chicago, the store. But um, yeah, I had a Foxtrot in college and then I had a Foxtrot when I moved to my new place in Dallas and now we have one here. And there's already plans to build a second one, which is so freaking cool. So I'm gonna go show y'all the vibe and hopefully get some work done. I wanted to show you my outfit today. We have a dress from a boutique in Kiowa. Cooler horses. Um, free people. And then Amy Leondor. Probably the most expensive baseball hat that I own, but um, worth it because it looks super slick. That makes me look super cool. So work bag, of course, is the 66 degrees north duffel bag because it is water resistant on the outside. And all my stuff I know is very safe. Look at these blues. <laughs> have all their food and all the fun drinks and all the fun snacks. Look at these fun drinks. Let's see, I don't even know what to get. Um, you know, snacks, wine, cookies. It's like a little market. Same in Dallas. This setup is interesting because they have a super skinny lane here. Happy that they're here, finally. I'm so excited that they're here. shops from Dallas here that's just like I'm geeking and they have a great outdoor space with like awesome tables and and like a, there's a breeze and oh my gosh this is just I'm obsessed obsessed so I wanted to show you all the book I'm reading right now which is just funny that I'm reading period but where I'm not going to turn into a booktuber, don't worry, but I am reading this book. Um, it's called The Echo Chamber, and it's by the guy that wrote that book, and so it's, like, very, not, like, adulty as in, like, spicy, but adulty as in, like, it's not, like, it's not, like, a what I read, usually read, like a fluff read. It's definitely like a, there's an int intellectual point point to this book, which is fun. Um, but the way the pages are is very fun to read because there's a lot of margin and it's just like big words and it's, it's super thick. So when I finish it, I'm gonna feel like super proud of myself, which is cool. But it's basically the downfall of a super wealthy family in London. That's basically the book. And I'm really enjoying it. So. <laughs> So I don't know what that says about me, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I wanted to actually plan out the wedding video, and I did this weekend. Not just make it, because when I just make it, I get lost in like what all I need. So, we're gonna do this together. So, wedding video. Where do we even begin? Um, First of all, what are your main categories? You have details, you have pre-ceremony, which is like, you guys like, get ready, and then you also have um, gifts, and then you have, um, first of all, first of all, you have to do like, whatever, so you have to first look, and then, and then the details are is like, venue, and uh, for, 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 and then you have ceremony, which then they have, you should, you should, they have to be watching, and then they have, uh, and then, and then post ceremony. Which are actually taken pre-ceremony, but makes sense to post-ceremony, like, in the ring. And those, and then together, just then two. And then, um... So, taking 
all of this. Let's maybe see if you can focus on that. Yep. Taking all of this stuff and then basically saying, okay, how do I combine all of these? Oh, and then the exit is at the end. Exit. How do I combine all of these into a cool video? Now, I've watched a few from a friend of a friend has this film company I was watching, and I noticed a few clips that I didn't get while I was at this wedding. It doesn't make my video any less good. It's just different styles. How do I celebrate this couple and, the, and the, their, their love for each other? So... I'm going to workshop that and I will follow up. This is the original, right? I just wrote out everything that happened. Condense and kind of rearrange it to be like a fun like build up to the hypeness I'm kind of using the same framework that this film company uses and then kind of putting my own spin on it anyways regardless it's my first wedding video we can cut myself some slack okay so first we're gonna do some detail shots so like kind of like opening sequence of like detail shots of like the cake and the rings and the flowers and the aisle and like altar and all that stuff like all the pretty things that make this wedding unique like the bible signing thing and the you know where and during the background is going to be you know music but then we're going to have a monologue of like the sermon from the ceremony right the sermon from the ceremony kind of blurbs are going to be in this right and then we're going to kind of transition to part two or act two where we kind of look at more like the first look and like when they give each other the gifts and the letters and kind of like some excerpt blurbs from either their the speeches during the reception or I just thought of this they gave each other letters and they read them out loud uh, during the gift swapping part and so I could put that audio here we're doing we're doing speech blurbs and then we're doing do vowel blurbs and then we're gonna at the end of the vowel blurbs we're gonna do like the big that's gonna kind of be like the music drop the drop and you know like the oh it's happening um is gonna be when they kiss and then go back down like, like cheer go back down the aisle um together and then we're gonna go to their photos when they just did them two together and then and then go to family photos and like bridal groomsmen party photos and then uh, and then dances like so like their first dance like in the wedding gear because they do have an outfit change which i need to remember because none of the so i needed to put all the outfit change stuff after everything else otherwise it doesn't logically like make sense in your brain when you're watching it and um, and then so then act three is like just musical there's no like monologue going on or anything and it's the outfit change in the stairwell and then dance floor and then their sparkler exit because they did a sparkler exit and that as a photographer and videographer as someone who is afraid of fire is kind of a scary <laughs> experience <laughs> running backwards so i had to I used my field hockey skills in high school to run backwards through the tunnel of sparklers it was also ducking and then also holding a gimbal it was a whole it was an experience cute dog going against the grain here but I think I edited all my vlogs in CapCut and you could not tell I think I might edit this wedding video